here I brought your shovel you asked for. Oh, your plant is not looking good. I know, I'm afraid I don't think this shovel's gonna work. I think if you plant it deep in the soil, it will work. The plant just isn't really fitting in this container anymore. Hi friends, I'm trying to help Levi. He wanted to plant something from seeds. So Levi tossed seeds into the container and we watered it and we had to wait. He wanted to grow his own grass for the tent. <laughs> but look at the grass, it grew and now it's not doing so well because it needs to be planted in good soil in the ground. You know what? It's kind of like the Bible story we're gonna hear today. We're gonna hear a story Jesus told about a farmer and his seeds. And we'll hear which of those seeds were planted in good soil. Okay, Levi, it's all gonna be okay. Let's stand up and sing to Jesus. And then we'll hear about that Bible story. Bigger than the biggest ocean, deeper than the deep blue sea, brighter than the sunshine is God's love for me. Oh, wherever I go, God is with me every day. When I wake up, He's with me every day when I play. God is with me every day. When I obey, He's with me every day when I sleep. So I'll never have to be afraid. God is with me. When I'm super sad and grumpy, or happy as can be, Jesus is my best friend, he's always there for me, oh, wherever I go, God is with me every day, when I wake up, he's with me every day, when I play, God is with me every day, when I obey, he's with me every day, when I sleep. So I'll never have to be afraid. God is with me every day. When I wake up, he's with me every day when I play. God is with me every day. When I obey, he's with me every day when I sleep. So I'll never have to be afraid. God is with me. Bigger than the biggest ocean, deeper than the deep blue sea, brighter than the sunshine is God's love for me. Oh, wherever I go, God's with me. God is with me. God is with me. God is with me. God made me. He made everything. God loves me. He can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere. And He loves me. When I look up, 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 I know He's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's Word and I search for Him, He rewards me. Cause He loves me. God made me, He made everything. God 
God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God's everywhere. And he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me. I know he's real when I look down, down, down. I believe what I found when I look in God's word and I search for him. He rewards me because he loves me. that you just learned that you've been working so hard on. So let's say it together and then you say it without me. Are you ready? Okay. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. Psalm 28, 7. That was really good. Now you say it all by yourselves on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> wow, you did such a great job. Good job, friends. I'm so very proud of you. Now, I want to teach you our new verse. I am so excited about it. This comes from the book called Deuteronomy. Can you say Deuteronomy? It sounds silly, doesn't it? Deuteronomy. But it's not silly. It's a book in our Bible. This is Deuteronomy 31, 8. And we'll put up. Four fingers on each side, because that's eight, okay? And I'm going to show it to you, and then we'll walk through it slowly together. Okay, we're going to make an L for the Lord. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31, 8. Are you ready to learn it slowly with Miss Ashley? I know you can. All right, let's do it slow. Repeat after me. We're going to make our L for Lord and go across our bodies. The Lord himself, say the Lord himself, goes before you. Goes before you. We're pointing, aren't we? And will be with you. I love to think about Jesus being right with me, don't you? All right, let's try that much. The Lord himself, the Lord himself goes before you, goes before you, and will be with you, and will be with you. He will never leave you, he will never leave you, nor forsake you, nor forsake you. If God were to forsake us, that means he would be telling us to go get away. God never would do that. Jesus came to bring us back to him. He loves us so, so much. Boys and girls, we are going to keep practicing this verse and learning it all month long. What a special verse to know that Jesus is with us, he goes ahead of us, and he will always be with us. He'll never leave us, 
and he won't tell us to go away. No, he won't forsake us. He is always there for us. Now let's turn up our listening ears to hear how we can learn and grow like beautiful flowers for Jesus and with Jesus. Let's listen. Okay, friends, Miss Ashley has out her Bibles, and this story is in the New Testament. It is in Matthew, Mark, and Luke in our Bible. Jesus, he was teaching the people again, and he was standing in a boat. There were people all along the shore of the lake, and Jesus had been sitting there, but now that so many people had come, he climbed up into a boat so that everybody could see him and hear what he was teaching. Now, when Jesus taught people, Jesus would teach them a story that was made up, but he would make up a story to help them learn a lesson, to help them learn something that was true about God and about God's word. These made up stories to teach a lesson are called parables. So Jesus was speaking that day and he taught a parable. Here's what he said to the people. Jesus said, once there was a farmer and the farmer was scattering and tossing out his seeds. Some of the seeds landed on the path, on the dirt. But Jesus said, Birds came along and ate up all the seeds. The birds just scarfed them right up. Oh, now there were no more seeds. Then Jesus said, some of the seeds landed on the rocks. But when the plants started to grow, they weren't down deep enough in the soil. There were too many rocks there. And so when the sun came out and it got really, really hot, the plants just dried up and they died. They weren't down in the soil where they could get their nutrients. They just got too hot in that sun. Jesus said other seeds landed in the weeds and the thorns. Hmm, what do you think happened? Do you think the plants that landed in the weeds were going to grow? No, they didn't. Do you know why? Because the weeds tangled the new plants all up. When the seeds started to grow their plant, the weeds tangled around and choked them so they couldn't grow anymore. Then Jesus said, but some of the seeds fell into good soil, good dirt. What do you think happened to those seeds in the good dirt, the good soil? <laughs> yes, they grew. Jesus said they grew into big plants. They even grew 100 times more than the seeds that were planted. They grew beautifully. Well, Jesus told this story, and it was a great story. But the disciples, they didn't understand. They asked Jesus, why do you talk to the people and teach them in parables? What does this mean? Jesus said to the disciples that they could understand God's words. They understood because they knew Jesus, but not everybody can understand. Not everybody knows Jesus or knows that his word is true. Jesus said, here is what the parable meant. The seeds that landed on the dirt, on the path, where the birds just ate it right up, that is like somebody who reads the Bible or hears the Bible and they hear it but then it just goes away. They just forget about it. They don't do what it says. Jesus said the seeds that landed on the rocks, well, that 
is like somebody who is excited to learn from God's Word, to learn about Jesus and learn the Bible, but when bad things happen and a hard time comes, they forget all about the Bible. They forget it's even true. Jesus said that the seeds that landed in the weeds, just like the weeds tangled up and choked the plants, Jesus said that the worries in our life can make us feel tangled up. And so even if we were to read God's word, if we have worry around us and we feel afraid, that can make us forget that God is true, that he's real. It can make us forget that Jesus goes before us that he will be with us. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. We would be worried and scared instead, tangled up in our worry. Jesus said, the seeds that landed on good soil in the good dirt, they grew to be big, beautiful plants. And they multiplied. There were even more plants than seeds. And that is like people who hear God's word. And they do what it says. And they remember it. They don't forget it. They hear it and they do it. And they live it and remember it. And then guess what happens? Then they grow beautifully. Just like the seeds in the dirt grew beautifully. And they grew into so much more. When you and I learn God's words and we learn from the Bible, we remember that he does what he says he's going to do and he'll never leave us, then we can always be growing beautifully. And other people will see us and they'll want to grow beautiful too. Jesus loves us. He wants us to take his words and plant them deep in our heart, just like we would plant seeds deep in good dirt. So we can grow and grow and grow beautiful with Jesus in us, in our hearts. Well, what did you think about that, Levi, about us growing just like plants would grow? Well, it's pretty neat that Jesus' words in the Bible are true and that when we keep them in our heart, that we can grow beautiful just like a, a flower or a, a plant could grow beautiful. Yes, Levi, that is so right. You see, Jesus loves us, friends. He goes before us and he will be with us. He never leaves us. And he wants us to remember that. He wants to teach us and grow us from his word. So let's keep planting seeds in our heart for Jesus. And hey, we can pray for your plant too that you're growing. Sound good? Oh, that sounds great. Thank you. All right, let's pray, friends. Jesus, thank you. That we can grow, not just bigger and taller, but that in our hearts we can grow with you. We can grow and blossom like a beautiful flower when we know you and, and know your words and know the Bible. And when we do what it says, help us to grow with you, Jesus, and plant your seeds. And we pray for Levi's plant that you'll help it to do better and that you'll help it grow with the soil and the sunlight and the rain it needs. We thank you and love you. Amen. Boys and girls, you keep growing with Jesus this week, and we will too. And we will see you next time. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye. Courage, do not be